Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information and links are in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. We are set up here for summertime. This is like an ocean theme. So we're going to be using the Mermaid Tarot. And these messages for um, Cancer and Pisces so far have been so on point, but so strong because of this water energy. Um, we're going to be using the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle as well. Um, we're going to hear from Gaia. And um, I hope you had a nice full moon yesterday. And we'll be hearing from the Moonology deck. And because emotion is um, represented by water, the Lover's Oracle, um, Emotion Ocean. All right, so let's see what's going on for Scorpio today. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, guys. Um, just so you know, I'm only um, regularly on three social media platforms. That is Facebook and Facebook here on YouTube and TikTok. Um, I'm doing two minute summaries of these readings on TikTok. So if you don't follow me there, um, the link for that is in the description box. If you don't feel like you can watch an entire reading here, you can head over to TikTok and get your quick two minute summary. Okay. Um, also, I do sell personal readings. If you would like to make an appointment for one, uh, you can message me on Messenger or you can send me an email at my email address in the, in the description box below. I also um, take tips. I'm very appreciative of those. Thank you guys so much. My PayPal link is in the description box. All right, Scorpio, what's going on for Scorpio? Whoa, jumping like a fish. Oh, the devil. Oh, dear. Feeling caged. Oh. oh, five of cups. What? Oh, no, Scorpio. What's going on here? Why are you grieving? You've lost some, some cups. Don't forget that you've got the two of cups behind you. You're dealing with toxicity. Or some of you know, I was going to say. I always like to say, sometimes this is just a Capricorn. Okay, but with the five of cups next to it, nope. This is, this is some toxicity that's put you in grieving here. And now you've got a tough decision to make. Wow. All right. Well, let's see what else. What, what's under this devil here? What's going on? Okay, one flipped and one came out. So, oh dear, nine of swords and two of cups. Oh yes, yeah. see the two of cups were left. That's what I said. You've still got the two of cups, but maybe you don't. No, you do. You've got this partnership right here and stagnation because you are going to have a hard time and, and no peace of mind oh my goodness oh scorpio i'm so sorry you guys you are dealing with it right now yeah um you're dealing with toxic energy that comes from you this is your thoughts you've been very worried uh look at this card this is one of the most terrifying cards i have Okay, um, this is not Ariel. Okay, look at her. She's, she's like, oh my God, what, what is that? Look at how scary that is. She's got her eyes bugging out. She's clawing her way up there. I'd be freaking scary, scared too. And she's just in a tent. What? So yeah, look at you. You're caged. You're in a cage of your own doing. You're, you're stuck in, in worry. And so, yeah, 
when you've got the five of cups, usually it shows that there's three that are knocked over. Wow, that was a light thing there, anomaly. And then, you know, this person is grieving so hard that they don't realize that the, they still have the two of cups. And I always say that about this card. And now here you have the two of cups. So you're grieving, but don't forget that you have the two of cups. Either you um, have a partnership, you know, like if you lost something and you're really worried and, and say you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, remember that they're there. They're there for you. Okay. Um, this could be a, a parent and a, a child, a single parent and a child. You still have each other. Um, you know, this doesn't have to be love relationship. This, this, you know, like a romantic relationship. This can be any kind of partnership where people really care about one another. Okay. And again, we've got the two, two of cups, two of wands. Okay. So you've got angel number 22. So look that up. And then here we've got your card here, Scorpio, the death card. This is when things change and they change forever because that's what death does. However, when it's in the reverse, this is stagnation. Okay, because you're, you're stuck in your head because there's a choice that you need to make. And it's very difficult when you get the two of wands, one Wand will keep you where you are. That's your comfort zone. The other one will be a challenge, but it takes you out into the world. You mature more and it's out of your comfort zone, but you become something bigger. Okay. <clears throat> so with this stagnation of your own energy, and this is also major arcana. So this is your soul energy as well. This is supposed to happen. You're stagnating right now because you can't make this decision. Why? Because it takes a lot of passion to choose the one that takes you out into the world. And you already know that choosing your comfort zone isn't what you're supposed to do. But right now, you're just not feeling strong enough to do that. Okay, you're just not feeling strong enough to make that decision. Trust me, I know what that feels like, okay? And so until you're able to make this decision of moving out into the world or, you know, it could be getting a different job, okay? Because wands are very much um, career. Until you make that decision, things are going to stay the same, okay? And then on the bottom of the deck, this is all, this is the, this whole thing is why you don't have any peace of mind right now. And you're not getting much rest, okay? Also, this is you not meditating. This can be meditation, and you're not meditating. What you're doing is you're overthinking and it's driving you nuts. I mean, look at her. I, I, I wouldn't stay for the night. I'd pack my shit up and get the hell out of there, wouldn't you? Can't sleep with that shit. <laughs> so get out of there. Don't, don't be in your head. It's messing with you. Remember that you have somebody there with you who loves you okay let's see what the ocean wants to see i love my little vw guy with my he's actually like a gnome or a fairy and but right here he's the surfer guy I just you know, I'm from California, so I love that stuff. He's, he's going to hang 10. Adrift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. Yeah, this, this is you not having inner peace. Like I said, this is peace of mind. Look at how peaceful she looks. You are not connected to your inner peace right now. You, you got to um, remember to try to stay calm within the chaos. Okay, that is a really great tool to have. Life is better together. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as, as simple as making a phone call. Now, 
I don't see like a whole lot of family stuff here though. What I see is a bunch, I, I see twos, two of cups here, two of wands here. The, and then, you know, the two of cups right there, this is two beings here. There's even two beings right here. Okay. So I just have this feeling like this is you and somebody else. And this person is there for you. Don't forget. And they're part of your family. I, this could be, you know, your child, this could be a sibling, this, you know, keeping it in check, pay attention to what is going on around you, you might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. Okay, so what that tells me is, like I said, this stagnation is a part of your soul's journey, it's supposed to be there. Okay, that's why I uh, when you look at major arcana cards like this as well the devil and the death card are major arcana cards so yes you are uh in your own toxicity right now because you're overthinking but you're supposed to this is going to teach you something when we suffer if we learn from what we suffered from it's not a waste and this is what we come here for, to learn, right? So this stagnation is supposed to happen so that you can look around, look around, see what's going on around you. You, you may be trying to move too fast, okay? Let's see what, let's ask Gaia first here. What's up with Scorpio here? You know, we are in a world where we're used to doing stuff. If, if something isn't the way you like it, change it. This is what we always say. Go do this. Go do that. You know, don't wait around. Just change it. But sometimes that's exactly what we need to do to learn. What are we learning? Patience, faith, trust in how things work in the universe on our planet there there's a, a trick to how you can get energy to work for you this is what we're trying to learn as a species how to get our energy our personal chi or ki or prana energy to work for us to you know it used to be that only people who studied the mysteries knew about personal energy and, and things like the secret and how to put energy out there so you can bring it back in, right? We're learning how to do that again as a, a whole, okay? Like all of us, oh, the search, holy crap. Feeling lost, confused, and lonely. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what you're having a problem with. You're feeling confused, lost, you're feeling lonely, but don't forget there's somebody right next to you and especially if you're like a single parent and this is your child and the you're being told because i was a single parent okay and i felt like this a lot okay i still feel like this every now and then so just remember that your child is watching you Okay, I used to get stressed out and now I wish that there was a couple of things that I hadn't done or said in front of my son. You know, I used to let myself get like this, you know, and, and he would see that and, you know, now he kind of freaks out at times and now I wish that I hadn't done stuff like that. So while if, if, you, if, if this is like a single parent issue, not only should you understand that this child is watching you but they're also they're not i'm not saying go to them and talk about all your problems especially if they're a child just remember that they're there and what a blessing that they are right okay zen garden inner sanctuary oh my god see that's exactly what i was saying you've got to be able to be calm in the chaos this is what um you're being guided to to learn to be zen on the inside wherever you are okay because this is not zen and you're doing this to yourself because this mermaid is trapped in a cage but she can get out 
this person looks like she's trapped in this tent, but she can leave. Okay, so like I said, get out of your head. That's where you are. You're in your head. You're trapped in your head. And all you can do is, is worry about maybe getting a new job here. Just focus on peace. Focus on love. Focus on your faith in yourself and in, in the universe and how it's, it brings in good stuff for you. Remember how you've been um, working so hard on your life to be independent and to have everything you need. Wow, look at this. Scorpio, new moon in Scorpio came out for you. A new beginning is going to start when you work through your fears. Work through your fears. Let's see if anything else comes out from the moon. Yeah. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Now this is full moon in Capricorn and the Capricorn is the entrepreneur. It has everything to do with, with working and making money and reinventing yourself and your life or starting a business. Okay. So everything that you've been doing, you've been working at your life really hard to be independent and to be, um, you know, not codependent. You've got everything that you've desired. You've done this yourself. This has been kind of tough, but there's an easier, um, I mean, just think if you can master your inner Zen garden, then you're going to that tough cycle will be gone. And if you can, if you can master it and keep that Zen garden in your mind all the time, then that it'll be gone forever. Here, another, another new moon, a new beginning. And it has to do with communication. Communication is key. Uh, this could have something to do with a Gemini, but communication is key for everybody because you gotta, you have to speak to yourself clearly as well. Let's see what's going on here with the lover's deck and we will close out your reading. Hello, lover's deck. Can I have a card? Um, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, they're everywhere now. All right, bottom of the deck, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Yep, 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 yep. Hang on, I gotta get this other card. All right, got it. Okay, so you got a bunch of these now. Friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So there's a friend that likes you more than they're letting off. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, so this friend is going to love you so deeply. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. I, you know, I can't put it any, any better. Okay. So basically it's saying that you, you're torturing yourself, master your Zen garden, because what you put out into the universe is what you attract. Okay. So it's saying, don't be feeling so lonely right now because you've got a secret admirer that you're friends with. And if you develop this friendship, this is going to be a deep eternal love. I might even say divine. All right, Scorpio, this sounds awesome. So um, that's what I have for you at this time. All right, so I'll see you next time.